All right, here's the next day and next step of the process. Head is off. I haven't really looked at this yet, so you guys are getting the first view. One cylinder, second cylinder, third, fourth looks pretty murky, fifth, can't really tell much, I'll grab my light. Yeah, that's pretty murky too. And the sixth, looks pretty bad. The rest of it don't look too terrible though, for having such slimy oil on it. So that is where we are at this point, what the engine looks like without head and turbo and exhaust. I was going to videotape the removal, but it was too many hands on deck to be carrying on. So we'll move out here. You can see that off. Turbo exhaust manifold. Head is the same as it was on the engine, just removed without rocker arms or bolts or push rods give you an update as we go all right I'm not sure how well you guys are able to see this but we found heat cracking in our pistons you may or may not be able to tell it yeah there's one Say hi to the camera, Aaron. Hi. <laughs> Aaron's pulling main bearings. It's awesome. Progress. pretty good okay we've got the pistons out and you can see down there I've got the crankshaft covered and you can see the oil cooling nozzle I'll give you guys a better idea of the cylinders once we get them pulled there's some of them are scored a little bit and they're due to be replaced I will bring you over to the pistons you can see we do have some scoring on them as well You see number two is scored, along with number six, likely due to bad injectors at some point in this engine's life. So it is due for an overhaul. This is the underside of the engine. You can see where I've taped off the crank for protection. No, it's not too exciting down here, but it gives you an idea of what this all looks like. It's kind of tough to get the light in here and get you a very good seeing of anything. You can see up to the camshaft a little bit. Oh well, I can get you guys pictures. You can see up there a little bit. I'll give you another shot after we pull the liners. So this is where we are. Pulling cylinder number two. We missed number one because I was being a dum-dum. Coming out easy, so that's nice. The first one had a ripped line O-ring. We'll see what this one has. Nope. Oh, there she's she's pissing again. It's got a ladder problem. Let me hold up. There she be. Cylinder number two. O-ring intact. 
chewy, but yeah, intact. But not very healthy either. <laughs> no, I don't look good. Apart. Yeah, the other one was worse though. So she was definitely due. Shot. She's done. Sure good thing it's getting over all. <laughs> so number three, install, and apparently somebody's rubbing their truck. Can't imagine why. There's a class. Let her sink down until she clicks. Pull it. I'll make it quiet. Figures I had to film and he's freaking playing Rev Boy. So, you know, filming studios, the shop. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nothing wrong with that. God, these things are coming out easy. I really thought they'd fight more. I only got three tools. And... Yep. And some guy experienced running the ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> Takes a lot of experience to turn around. <laughs> oh, she's pissing. God dang it. It's easier to get this sucker. I'm holding the best I can. Pull her all at once. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna have to hold this one. <clears throat> yeah, that one's gonna fight a little bit. Maybe a better leverage. Definitely tougher. Yeah, I, I could tell. <laughs> that one's got more O ring. Mm. Put, put the polar back in it. <laughs> I have to. Why don't you just grab it like you did that one that other day? <laughs> you just freaking yanked on it. That thing just popped out of there. Uh, this one's tougher. <laughs> you get both arms in there. Dang, oh really? You want me to try and get a bite on it? Man, it's stuck in the hole. All right, now that everybody's gone, I can stop being a goofball. Uh, number one cylinder, this is the way the O-ring came out. She's pretty nasty. Cylinder itself does not look so terrible. But it definitely needs to be replaced. Cylinder two, about the same. We're definitely seeing scoring on stuff. Cylinder three, orange are tore up. Cylinder's not so hot. Cylinder four, same story. Cylinder five, same story. Now cylinder six, the leaky one. Inside is probably the worst because we know it was having problems and we know there was injector failures in this engine at one time but You can see here is one spot Here's another spot But as you go around you see evidence of poor installation and Also, you know the removal was not exactly easy on it. If I can get this turned. Yeah, it's right there There's evidence of the cavitation which we knew we were having not sure I can get that in the camera very well, but I'm trying. That is cylinder six, folks, and that is where our leak was coming from. That and the O-ring. So it's getting a complete in-frame, uh, new pistons, bearings, cylinders, the whole bit.